So, in the beginning, Simulink was just a simple tool for modeling and simulating dynamic systems. Its actions were quite limited. But over time, as we added features, the number of actions available in the menus grew and grew and grew. In 19A, we have over 1,100 actions available from the Simulink menus, and the number is growing every year. We had to come up with a new paradigm to organize and present all of this functionality to you. Fortunately, we had a precedent to follow in the MATLAB toolstrip. Introducing the Simulink toolstrip. In 19B, the Simulink toolstrip replaces the menus and toolbars for every Simulink and state flow feature. All 1,100 actions have found a new home here. The Simulink toolstrip simplifies and streamlines your access to the Simulink actions. We ran hundreds of user studies and organized it around your workflows in order to keep it focused and efficient for you. The dynamic nature of the toolstrip allows us to present you with the selection of the most relevant actions for what you're doing at any given moment. For instance, the toolstrip is organized into tabs that correspond to the phases of your work. Simulating, debugging, modeling, formatting, and application workflows. As you flow through the process of design and production, you'll spend time in each of these tabs in turn. We also introduce a tab that is context dependent, driven by your selection. A subsystem has a different set of common actions from a signal, for example. And of course, different domains have their own set of actions as well. Here you see that Stateflow keeps the same tabs as Simulink, but varies its content slightly to make sense for state chart editing, simulating, and debugging. One of the keys to making the toolstrip work for everyone is understanding that each user has somewhat different workflows and preferences. The toolstrip makes it easy to configure a custom UI that is tailored to your work. Many of our items are organized into searchable galleries. You can reorganize the sections in the gallery to bring your most used items to the top, and you can even mark items as favorites, which promotes them to the main tab layout, making them directly accessible all the time. Your toolstrip layout will be unique to you and your preferences. One of the problems we had with menus was that there was a class of features that had sub-workflows of their own. These features did not have a clear way to present their actions that made sense. The toolstrip offers an entire gallery of apps, these are features that are large enough to introduce workflows of their own. For example, clicking on HDL Coder now opens a whole tab of interface items specific to the HDL Coder workflow. Each app either opens a new window or provides its own toolstrip tab. One of our greatest challenges is how to make all the powerful features of Simulink known to users. Menus have not been a great advertisers for new functionality, but the toolstrip visually presents all available features, whether it's formatting, like block alignment, or entire apps, like the fixed point tool. Expert users who have tried the toolstrip have all said that it showed them features of Simulink they didn't know existed before. You can think of this as exposing unrealized value in the tools you already have. This is the largest overhaul of the Simulink user interface since the unified editors brought Simulink and Stateflow together in 2012. We have gone to great lengths to ensure that the toolstrip is backwards compatible with all user code, including Simulink menu customizations. The toolstrip is the next generation of user interface for Simulink and Stateflow. It will transform the way you work with our tools and it will serve as a foundation for growth as our features continue to de deepen and diversify, and we are extremely excited to get it into your hands in 19B. Thank you.